And hi, everybody, and welcome to our live coverage of the 2019 World Cup and World Championship here from Murcia, Spain. We have some open singles action, some men's singles action for you down on table number one. It's Tom Yor of the USA versus Refik Uchel from Turkey. Best three games out of five. We're going to start off on the home table of Uchel. We'll play the first game here, the second game on Tornado, third on Leonhardt, Uchel's home table, then the fourth game on back on Tornado, and then the fifth game divided up between both tables and still until one player wins by two. Uh, the most exciting format in the world of table soccer, no question about it. Happy to be here once again to bring uh, the world live action from the World Cup. Today is singles in all the various competitions, men's, women's, juniors, seniors, and disabled. Tomorrow we'll move to doubles and then opening ceremonies tomorrow as well. All the pageantry of the introductions of the various national teams. And then into the World Cup, the team competition. There's Uchel firing at home here on his home table. And, and usually in these kinds of competitions, and maybe some of you out there have never seen a multi-table competition, and certainly very interesting, very entertaining style of play. But what you want to do is you want to hold on your table. You want to make sure you win all the games that are on your home table and then try to steal a game, or even in the case of the fifth game, steal, steal a ball on the opponent's table. Rafik Uchel has come out to take an early lead here in game number one. And a timeout called here by Tom Yor. And you get a look there at the, the arena here in Murcia, Spain, or as the locals say, Murcia. Located on the, uh, near the coast of the Mediterranean down towards the Spanish Riviera. Players, of course, from all around the world here in attendance. And right now, it's a player from Turkey. Refi Kuchel leading 2-0 here in this opening game. Tom Yor has this one taken away by Refik. And again, this very well could be a case of both players holding on their home tables until we head to a, a fifth and final game. This match, by the way, in the round of 128. The winner of this one would face Tony Spredeman. Nothing lead early on here for Rafi Kuchel. Here's Yor, the chance to get on the scoreboard. Of course, Tom, a pull shooter, and the pull shot on most of these tables, if not all of them, can be a very effective play. In fact, all the tables, you can shoot some variety of a pull shot. Tom Yor, of course, will be a part of that defending champion American men's team that has won five of the previous nine World Cup gold medals. Tom has been part of every one of them, all nine teams throughout the years, ever since the very first World Cup back in Hamburg, Germany, back in 2006. Tom has been there for all the highs, and there's been a lot of those. And there's a pull shot from goal converted by Yor. It's 3-1 here in this opening game. Rafik sending it up and then has that one knocked down and taken away. You see that reverse close-up camera. Yor, who scored from here the last time he had it, scores again. Same hole, same result. It's 3-2. And Rafik will call a timeout. So Tom Yor has scored two in a row, both of them. Full shots down the middle, splitting the defense of Rafik Uchel. He has cut the lead to one. It's now 3-2 here in this first game. <laughs> Ray 
Rafiq Uchel now leading 3-2 here in game number one of this round of 128 open singles match, men's singles match. Again, that opposite view as he tried to bring that far man over. And you're over the block of the rebound. Now, you, you have to think that Tom's going to go right back to that full shot down the middle, which he does this time on goal. Uchel did make an adjustment, moving the men a little tighter together and was able to get a piece of it. Now he'll step up, step back, and shoot the ball. Trying to come back down the middle, dug out here by Yor. Well, Tom trying to get back into it here in this first game. We arrived uh, late last night, and there's Uchel angling it into the goal to make it 4-2. So the last three goals have all come from the two rods of Yor with two of them, and then Uchel. Took two and a half days to get here. I was in uh, San Diego, California on the west coast of America last weekend for an event on the Warrior Table. And then uh, flew from Phoenix, Arizona to Chicago, Illinois to catch a a connection to Europe, and we missed that flight, so we had to wait 23 hours and 45 minutes for the next one. And then finally arrived last night. Got a pretty good night's sleep, uh, despite the nine-hour time difference I was coming from. And ready to go at it here today, the open singles competition, doubles tomorrow. And don't miss the opening ceremony. It's always a lot of fun, very Olympic-like attitude and uh, environment here as we introduce all the various national teams, and there's a lot of them. That one's going to roll to a stop. Now Mior will put the ball back into play. Trailing 4-2, you're in game number one. Tom's only two goals of this opening game have come from here, from pull shot position on the two-rod. Puts a pull kick on goal here. Rebound comes all the way back to him. Opening game being played on the Lanhart table. There are five official tables being played on in the double singles and World Cup competitions here this weekend. The opening game goes to Uchel, but hold on a minute. I think Tom making a call here, and Tom basically wrote the rule book. Uchel put the left hand back to adjust a rod and then immediately went into a shot, so... It looks like um, that last one is not going to count, or is it? Let's see. Nope, they're going to go ahead and count it, and we're going to move over to the tornado table for game number two. And there you see the uh, the American table, the tornado. We talked about the five official tables, the Landhart, of course, the German table, the uh, table manufactured in the United States, the tornado, the Garlando table, and the Roberto Sport, both manufactured in Italy. But the Garlando table, really a table that has become associated with Eastern European table soccer and Austria as well, where generally the, the best Garlando players come from. And then, of course, the Bonzini table, the French table. And it is quite an adjustment to move from one table to the next. Some of the tables are very, very different. A tornado is very different than a Bonzini. But more and more over the last 10 years or so, we've seen players begin to become multi-table players. And there's more and more of them all the time. I know in the beginning of multi-table competition, it was players who were very good on their home table and then not so good on the others. But again, as time has gone by, the players have made adjustments, have grown accustomed to the various types of tables, have trained on those tables. And now we have a, quite a few multi-table players. So we'll get a chance to see what Rafik Uchel can do on a tornado. We know Tom Yor, a former tornado world champion, is happy to be home, so to speak, on his table. He does trail one game to nothing here. Or we'll put the ball into play, opening up game number two. Yeah, 
in many ways, foosball is foosball. The, the mental side of it, the game management part of table soccer is the same or very similar on each table. It's just the characteristics of each table, the, the rods, the men, the, the way it comes off the wall, the surface of the table that really make the difference. And there's your stroking home that pull shot down the middle to make it one nothing. Back comes Uchel. Let's see what he shoots here. He's going to shoot a snake shot. A shot attempt blocked and taken away by Yor. One game to nothing lead for Refik Uchel of Turkey. We inadvertently introduced him from Germany in the, the big intro we did here in the stadium. Now I believe he lives in Germany, but competes for the nation of Turkey where he was born. As that one blocked by Rafik. Quick shot near side. This time a standard front pin from Uchel. And that one sent wide of the goal with a five. And a rebound comes back to Rafik at goal. The winner of this one would face Tony Sprademan. Talking to Tony a little while ago. He said he's having a little bit of difficulty, but it's not where you would think as Yor now will set up a pull shot and look for a 2-0 lead. And he strokes that one home beautifully, so Yor has come out to get the first two here on his home table in game number two. But Tony came up, and we had a, we had a chat oh, literally five minutes before this match began, and Tony was telling me he was having a little bit of difficulty on the tornado table. And now Tony is probably the, the greatest tornado player in history. In fact, in my opinion, he is. And, no disrespect to the great Frederic Collignon, who has won more world championships on Tornado than anyone. Uh, but Tony's game, if, of course, many of you and most of you, I think, have watched the great American player from Florida. And there you saw the jar in there. That ball would have gone to Tom Yor's three rod no matter what. And he's going to set it up and look for a 3 nothing lead. But he said, Tony said he's doing fine on the other tables, but the ball is, is kind of elevating. When he shoots his snake shot, it's hitting the top of the goal. Thinks maybe it's the tackiness of the balls. We'll see how that plays out. But he also said that he really wants this title. It's, it's one title he does not have. He has a multi-table doubles world title with Robert Morris, but has never won the multi-table world championship. And, and that's a little bit of a surprise, I suppose. But we'll see how it all plays out. Yor now looks to increase his lead. Again, sets up the pull shot. He went split the first time, went long the last time, and he goes down the middle again here. You saw Rafik switch into that standard defense, opening up that squared off split from Yor. He's up 3 nothing, and we have a timeout. Coming to you live from Murcia, Spain, here at the Kazoom YouTube channel and then various platforms around the world where you can watch this event free for the first time. We hope you're enjoying it. If anybody if anybody would like to contact me, you can send me a Facebook message. Let me know you're watching. And I think there's probably a lot of you out there watching here today and then as the weekend progresses, although certainly those watching in America, it's uh, 7 a.m. on the west coast of America. So good morning to those of you watching in California. Of course, we have viewers on uh, each and every continent, maybe not in Antarctica. If you're in Antarctica and you're watching this, uh, just send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Ravik Uchel puts the ball back into play, leading one game to nothing, trailing three nothing as he sets up the snake shot once again against Yor. Went with a quick one far side. Yor there to take it away. And that one blocked back into the goal by Uchel. He's on the scoreboard here in this second game. It's now 3-1. The defending champion in this particular event, Tomas Haas. What a performance from Haas two years ago in Hamburg, Germany, when he really came out of nowhere. No one expected Haas to win that championship, and he just played some great table soccer en route to the title. You saw Yor stroke home another pull shot. I think Tom four for five shooting it so far. 
And we're tied at one game apiece. Let's head back over to the Leonhardt table. Each player has one on their home table. Rafi Kuchel in the first game on Leonhardt. Tom Yor won game number two with an impressive effort. To even it up at a game apiece, back over to Leonhardt we go. Neither player really close to a steal so far, although Yor is able to get on the scoreboard first here in the third game as he knocks that one in in transition. Kind of spins that one off that outside wall. Yor got the left hand back there to keep it out. Knocks it to his five run. He'll look to advance it. Can't hold on to that one. One nothing lead here in the third game for Tom Yor. As we mentioned, Tom Yor has been a part of five gold medal winning. Yeah, Tom Yor has five gold medals in. World Cup competition, also the 2011 multi-table doubles world champion with Brandon Moreland. You're with six overall gold medals. And that's pretty impressive. And taken away here by Yor. Comes back with a rolling pull shot here. Just couldn't get the set that he wanted and kind of got forced into going with a rolling pull shot. And that's unfortunate for your a rare possession on that three rod. You really want to value it. Uchel was able to make the block. Here's Tom sending that one off a back pin up the table on goal and picked up again here by Refik Uchel. One game apiece, one nothing lead for your here in game three. We're on the Leonhardt table. Taken away here by Uchel. Big shot attempt blocked by Yor up into the air and off the table. That ball will be put back into play by Yor at goal. They were finally able to locate that loose ball, which did travel underneath the, uh, the seating here that we have set up for the teams.
taking a brief break here to do a little bit of repair on the carpet here in the finals area. And I think we're about ready. We're leading one nothing here in the third. <laughs> Tom scored twice from goal in the first game on Leonhard. Going to go off a back pin here. Fired that one wide of the goal, and Uchel able to pick it up with a left hand. You know, oftentimes when th these players play on an opponent's home table, the shots are good, the, the passes are good. Sometimes it's the little things, the in-between parts of the game, that maybe because of a lack of playing time on that particular table, that maybe they're not picking up the loose ball or reacting in quite the right way, or that ball coming off the wall eludes them. There's not, no replacement for familiarity. Now, Uchel wondering if that one went in. And Tom doesn't think so. And we have no replay. Tom was asking for a replay. To me, it kind of looked like it hit off both posts. Tom, Tom does not think that went in. He steps away. Perhaps we're going to find an official. They asked me what I thought, and I, I could not tell. It, to me, it kind of looked like it hit off both posts. But usually the shooter knows whether it's in or not. Now we're going to just go ahead and give him another possession here. And Tom with the block on the first attempt to score once again, and he does get it through here. So either way, it results in a goal or now even at one, and that's probably a good thing. As Rafik genuinely, I believe, thought he had scored that first one. Tom did not. I'm a little bit far away, and I do not have a microphone to listen to that's directly on the table. Yeah, generally, you can tell by the sound of it. Either way, it's now 1-1 in games, 1-1 in score here in the third game. Jim Stevens with you from Murcia, Spain. Our first time in Spain, first time that I've ever covered a table soccer event in this part of Europe. And angled in beautifully here by Uchel. It's 2-1. Again, Rafik trying to hold on his home table. Oftentimes, in these sort of situations where the players are so much stronger on their home table than the opponent is, if you kind of just play out these first four games in anticipation of that fifth game, which can be so exciting. And Uchel now up 3-1 here in game number four. Because then it's a matter of just stealing one on the opponent's home table. Just one goal. And, and you have to steal one if you're going to win the match or win that fifth game. Shell with a rebound will look to increase his lead. Likes to shoot that standard pin. Sets it up far side, then strokes it home near side. It's 4-1. Rafik Uchel leading 4-1 here in game number three. And Tom Yor strokes home the pull shot here. And again, Tom's pull shot looks pretty good up there on that three rod. He just is not getting a lot of possessions, not really picking up loose balls, and hasn't been able to connect on the five to three. 
Now 4-2 in favor of Rafik Uchel, and game number three goes to the Turkish player. And he now leads two games to one, and we're going to head back over to the Tornado. This arena here, I think, built for basketball. Basketball very big in Spain. Of course, great players like Paul Gasol and his brother Mark playing in the NBA, and there's been several others. Spain uh, has always competes at a very high level internationally. They have a, a league here, a Spanish league, with very high quality of play with great players from around the world. And the Murcia team plays here in this arena. Back over to Tornado we go. Once again, it's Tom Yor, the American on the right. Rafi Kuchel of Turkey on the left. Tom Yor, of course, needs to hold here on his home table. Comes out with that tic-tac wall pass. He'll have the first possession of game number four. Yor will set up the pull shot. And stroke it nicely down the middle. Kind of an off-speed split pull shot there that caught Rafik Uchel in a switch. Back comes Rafik, putting it into play and passing it along that near wall. He'll set up. Nope, goes with a quick standard pin shot. Blocked back the other way by Yor. Two games to one lead for Rafik Uchel of Turkey. one nothing lead here in the fourth game for Tom Yor of the United States. Here's Yor. Hasn't missed much from the three rod on the tornado. And that continues here as he waits again to, for that split on that standard defense to open up. Hammers it home. It's 2-0. Now, based on what we're seeing here, the strength of each table on each player on his home table, it does appear will probably more than likely be headed to a fifth game. Uchel. And a couple of blocks here by Yor. Tom Yor's son, Tommy, who has been coming to these multi-table events for several years and events around the world. I know many of you are aware of the fact that his son, Tommy, is turning into a superstar on the American tour. Just a tremendously talented player. He is competing here this weekend. Not for the men's team. Did not make the men's team. A lot of people thought he should have, but when you win five World Cup titles in nine years, it's not an easy thing. You're, you're going to basically send the same team every year, although this year Dave Gummison not on the men's team for the United States. Blake Robertson is. And that one knocked in on the rebound by Yor. It's 3 nothing. Another guy who is on the American team this year and was not there two years ago in Hamburg, Germany, Billy Pampas. Anytime you have a top three, and we'll talk more and more of this, of course, uh, as the weekend goes on, but when you can field a team that has Tony Spradham and Ryan Moore and Billy Pappas at the top, you're going to be pretty good. Some of the other contenders here this weekend, the, the Germans who continue to get better and better and some really great young multi-table players. And now you're up 4 nothing as he looks to send it to a fifth and final game. The French are always tough. And on their table to Bonzini, and they have gotten so much better at multi-table play as well. Luxembourg, who won this title a few years ago. They won the men's team title. Always contenders with the eight great Yanni Correa and Steve Diaz and players of that ilk. I think probably those are your top four favorites. And if anyone else had some other ideas about who could contend for this title. And Tom York closes out game number four. We're headed to a fifth and final game. And uh, a shout out to Petra and Lindsay and Gilles. Thanks for the nice messages. Great to hear from all the, the players around the world. 
Watching in more than 40 countries. All right, here we go. Fifth and final game. First ball will be on the Leonhardt table and the next two on Tornado, the two following that. Oh, back on Leonhardt. And you must win by two here in this fifth game. Tom, you're on the right. Refik Uchel on the left. We're even at two games apiece. And let's play one ball here on Leonhardt. As Refik Uchel will put it into play. Again, you're just looking to steal one on the home, the opponent's home table. Uchel try to go through the lane, knock down, and then it squirts back to Yor, who has a chance to do just that right here. Big possession for Yor. Who sets it up, tried to stroke home that long pull shot, blocked and taken away by Uchel. This is what makes this type of format, this multi-table format, so much fun. The fifth games. Nice play there as Uchel put it on goal. Steps up there to grab the rebound. He'll now look for a 1-0 lead. And he finds it as he brings that far man across. So Yor had a chance. Had it blocked by Uchel. And then Refi gets a possession, fires it home. He's up 1-0. And let's head back over to Tornado. Usually no delay. You, you immediately go back to play. Tom Yor puts it into play, passing it along that near wall. A lot of pressure on both players. Right now the pressure on Yor, though, as he needs both of these, and he gets one of them to even it up at one. So now we'll go back and forth, two balls on each table. So far, both players holding on their home table. And that one blocked back towards the goal. Rafik gets the left hand back there to keep it out. Angles that one up the table towards the goal. Yor with a rebound. Not much margin for error in this format. And that one blocked back towards the goal by Uchel. Yor again. Fires that one home. So Tom Yor gets both on his home table. And he now leads 2-1 as we move back over to the Landhard table. Rafik Uchel will put it into play. So now the pressure on Rafik. Tom Yor holding on the tornado, and Rafik towards that ball. Angles towards the goal, picked up here by Yor. 2-1 lead here in the fifth and final game of this round of 128 singles match. Here in Zone A at the 2019 World Championships and World Cup. Up the table, Yor to his three rod. He could steal one right here. Tom fires it home. It's 3-1, so indeed, Tom Yor with a steal. Rafik Uchel must have this ball. Goes back along the wall, blocked by Yor. Tom Yor, who has played in so many big matches during the course of his career, generally thrives on the pressure. And right now, he's up 3-1 here in the fifth game. If he gets this ball, we'd head back over to Tornado, and Tom would just need one more, and he's got a chance now to steal both on the Landhart as he sets up the pull shot. Try to come down in the middle, blocked in, taken away by Uchel. Rafik takes a big, deep breath, exhales, takes his time, then fires that one on goal. 3-1 lead for Tom Yor here in the fifth. Yor angles that one up the table, trying to grab it on the three rod. Quick shot attempt with a five, blocked by Uchel. And another chance here for Tom. Yor finds the straight hole. It's match point for Tom Yor. We head back over to Tornado for two, and Tom just needs one of them to advance to the round to 64 and a matchup with his American teammate, Tony Spreiderman. Rafik Uchel must have both of these just to keep his hopes alive. As Rafik puts it into play. <laughs> Uchel 
Rochelle will shoot the snake. Tried to come down the middle, blocked and taken away by Yor. Match point for Tom. And taken right back by Uchel. Another block here by Yor, and Tom will gain the rebound. And look to use the left hand to pass it up the table to his three rod, which he does. Looking to advance to the round of 64. Tom Yor closes it out with a strong fifth game effort as he defeats Rafik Uchel to advance in the open singles competition.